Hello everyone. In the last video, we have seen the timer and counters in 8051 and we have uh, seen a sample program too. In that program, we toggled LED after every 19 milliseconds and we have used this program. Here we have uh, used timer 0 in mode 1 and uh, uh, we initialized uh, T mod, TL0, TH0 and complemented the pin at which LED is connected and then we check for the flag. If you observe this program, this delay routine or the lines or the code lines which is responsible for a delay is in the program window itself or in the main program file itself. What if we can write the delay code in subroutine? Okay. So the task of this video is to write this program using a delay subroutine. Okay, so let's get going. Now, as usual, let's start with org. Zero 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 H, and then L jump to start. Then org zero zero three five H, and then start colon. Let's save this file so that we'll get a color code of this uh, keel version. Okay, for 8051. Let's save this by a name LED underscore delay routine. dot a five one as this is an assembly file so once we save this we'll get a color code so it will be easy to debug our code right so we'll start it what we do is we'll declare the port one declare the port one as an output port so let's move we know output means zero zero so let's put hash zero zero into this file so zero zero h then the next line will be to declare the tmod and tcon and we know the count values for tmod and tcon as we have used in the last program was this one but since we are not putting the delay routine in the main code itself we will not going to write that lines here what we do is we will write a routine or subroutine name as delay here and we'll put that files here. So move T mod. What was the value? It is hash zero one. T mod comma hash zero one H. So this will set the timer. Now let's move the count values into TL zero and TH zero. So TH zero will be putting in TH zero. What was the time? Uh, what was the count? 0 C8 and 0 B5. TL0 is having 0 C8 and TH0 is having 0 B5. So TH0 is hash 0 B5 H and TL0 is having TL0 is having 0 C8. H. Let's check it out again. 0 C8 in TL0 and TH0 is having B5. So TH0 B5, TL0 0 C8. Now this is done. What we need to do is we need to start the timer. So to start the timer what we do is we'll set bit TR0 right and we'll check whether TF0 is set or not. So jump if no bit TF0 and we are going to jump at the same location. Once it is high, we'll get the, we'll, we'll come to know that our timing is over and we can come down into a subsequent, uh, subsequent uh, instruction or subsequent line in execution. So here what we need to do is once our execute, once our timing is over, we need to clear the 
TR0, we need to stop the timer. So what we do is here we write CLR TR0. Similarly, we need to clear the flag TF0 and here we end our timer, right? Now, since we are in a routine, we need to go back. So the command for going back into the instruction is RET. So now our subroutine is ready. Let's go into a main program. Now here we declared our port. Here we declared our port as an output port. So what we need to do is we need to complement the pin connected at pin P1.0. So what we do is CPL port 1 pin 0, right? So we have complemented that pin and then what we do is we'll call our delay. So let's call delay. The command for calling the delay is a call, a call delay. Now delay is called after delay is called. What we need to do is we need to jump back into again to make this execution infinite. This program should run infinite and will jump here again. E G F colon. So if let's put it it in some tabs and using spaces to look it nice and clean there is no intendations like in it is observed in python if you do this in python it will throw error but here in keel there is no issue we can use tabs and space to make it oh i would say beautiful so this is our code now if you observe one thing i have not written end here so what i need to do is the end is an assembler directive so like org we need to put end at the bottom org we used to place where we are going to write our code and end is to identify that this assembly file is end so we need to write end right here okay so there are two things let's put a comment here this is subroutine for delay and this is our main program right let's go and add this file to our source group so right click here add existing file to the source group right let's check out where we have led delay routine a.51 add close now since the file is added let's compile it zero errors and zero warnings let's build it right build complete Let's go into a debug button and check out whether our program is working or not. So going into a debug, this is our parallel port, which is port one, where we have connected our LED to the last bit that is 1.0, right? Here we are, this is our code. Let's run it. Yes, you can observe LED is blinking. Now let's discuss its operation, how it is operating, okay? Now, if you observe, if you observe, what I did is I declared this as output port and complemented the pin, which pin? This pin port 1.0 at every time and in between the two complements, I call this delay. Now, when this routine is called, the execution goes here, it performs all the steps and it, it perform all the steps. These steps are setting steps. We'll defining the mode of a counter. We'll defining the count values. Then we are starting the timer here and then we keep on checking when this flag is set. And then once the flag is set, we'll clear TR0 and TF0. TR0 stops the timer. TF0 clears this flag so that we can use it in the next cycle. And then we return to the address. Now, when we call some subroutines, 
the address of next instruction is automatically saved into a stack right so that address will be retrieved when we return from that subroutine and will come at a next instruction so execution comes at a next instruction okay hope you understood in the next video we'll see how to use different modes of timer and counters